Hello folks, welcome aboard our exciting journey into the vibrant world of fintech with FinBrits. You see, the fintech industry is a bit like an exclusive club. If you are interviewing for a fintech role, you will often face the question, have you worked in the fintech industry before? And believe it or not, your answer could swing the pendulum in or out of your favor. So what makes the fintech industry warrant such a question? What's the secret sauce? The answer is simple yet paramount, security. Now, when we talk about security in fintech, we're not just talking about authentication, authorization, CSRF protection, data encryption, or even login control. These are absolutely essential, no doubt. But in fintech, it goes deeper. It's about guiding your code like a treasure chest because we are dealing with people's finances. A minor bug isn't just a bug, it could be a potential devastating loophole. So what's in store for you in this Fingrate tutorial series? Firstly, we will tackle the art of any fintech application, the holy trinity of account creation, money transfers, and record keeping. But our adventure doesn't stop here. We will also explore some hidden trails often overlooked in the fintech terrain. We are talking about budgeting, expenses, investment, and contribution. To ensure we have a clear path, I've prepared the basic UI of our FinGrid app. This UI will serve as our compass, guiding us through our FinTech expenditure. All right, guys, so here is what the UI looks like. And yeah, I would have with your criticism or probably approval and tell me how well I've done. So this is more like me just exploring some UI. I designed this myself. I'm not a UI guy. I'm a software guy, but I tend to want to do everything. Yeah, and as a result of that, I came up with this. So let's quickly walk through what we are supposed to have. So by default, we are going to have a login screen. And if you remember, I mentioned that we are going to explore the authentication part first. Okay. So yeah, we are going to have a login screen as seen here. And if we click on sign up, in case we don't have an account, we can just click here and we we'll sign up. And now when we have an account, we can go back to our login and we we'll click and we we'll log in. So I don't need to fill anything. This is just a bulk up. This is just an interactive um, stuff. So instead, I'll just click on the login because I can. So once I click on the login, this is what we'll be presented with. And this is just a quick skeleton. I don't want to spend my time too much trying to design any impressive stuff. The whole activity we are trying to explore here is the functionality. And I've highlighted the functionalities we'll be having. So we have um, accounting, we have budget and expenses, we have investments, and we have contributions. So technically, when you log on the platform, you'll be presented with this page and you can decide to go wherever you want to go. And just for some quick picture, you get to see some of the activities you've done in the past. So here we have your transaction history and here we have your budget stroke expenses tracker. And the whole idea around the budget is that you are going to be prompted every month to create your budget for that month because yeah, that's the assumption of, okay, you are working. And once you're able to fill in your budget, so technically, this should automatically go through your device to check through your expenses and collate it with that budget. But since we don't have access to that, we are not on the mobile section, so we won't be able to explore that. So instead, we are going to do a search that you will be the one to add your expenses. And the system is meant to do its financial layout and do its control on that. So that's about that. And here you can view more to view more and actually go into that page to see what it's all about. So now if we click on accounting, it takes you to this page and this is just the basic. So technically you are not meant to have more than this. You can create accounts in different um, currency. You have balance, you can add money to it and you can send money. And yeah, that's what this is all about. And if you click on the transactions, you get to see the transactions we've carried out. So yeah, they are all also laid out here. So back, you can go back to your own page. You can go back to the budget and expenses. And this is what I have for that. So like I said, instead of the application automatically um, going through your device to get your expenses, you would have to add it just to see the functionality. And that's what this is all about. So yeah, that's that's what we have in the UI so far. I've not really implemented the design for the investment. I'm still kind of wrapping my head around how that should actually function. Therefore, contributions, I'm well aware how it's meant to work, but I don't want to delay anything in trying to design that. So as we move on, as we progress, those designs will come along the line while we focus on what we have for now. So guys, here is the UI and that's what to be expected. We will navigate our way through FinGate in modules. 
ensuring we balance the front-end and the back-end tasks like a seasoned explorer. This way, we maintain a cohesive full-stack development process without leaning too heavily on one site. So ready for our first step? In the next video, we will be setting up our Golang and Nest.js environments. To stay updated on this thrilling expenditure, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And if you found this video enlightening, do leave a thumbs up. It's like a high five for the art work. Remember, knowledge is better shared, so do spread the word about the series. Stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, the sky is not the limit in the world of technology. See you next time.